Hello my friend, it is I, Vadim. How are you doing? In this video I will review the Intel i5-11500 processor. We are going to have a look at its specs, temperature while gaming using the stock and aftermarket coolers, check integrated graphics performance at 1080p and CPU performance in games. Before that, Buy your Windows 10 license for less at cdkoffers.com using the link in the description below. Use code IV20 for an additional 20% off and safely check out with PayPal for instant delivery. First, a quick look at the specs. i5-11500 has 6 cores and 12 threads. The all-core boost for continuous loads is 4.2 GHz providing that you have a motherboard with an unlocked CPU power limit. Because the standard 65 watts set by Intel is not enough to keep this processor running at that speed. For example, in some CPU demanding games power consumption can reach around 90 watts. So, you do need to fit this i5 well. I recommend using the Asus Prime H510MA motherboard paired with DDR4-3200 memory. Links to the full PC build are in the description below. Temperature tests Intel stock cooler comes in the box with this processor. It will get the job done, but it is less than ideal. The temperature can rise above 90 degrees under full load and the cooler is very noisy at that point. Upgrading to a $30 to $40 cooler like Arctic Freezer 34 eSports will reduce the noise significantly and bring the temperature down to below 70 degrees. However, if you want a fully silent experience, then you will have to splash some cash on Noctua NHU-12S. Expect temperatures around 65 degrees while having an absolutely silent experience even at full CPU load. You can watch my video about it in the top right corner. Intel Integrated Graphics i5-11500 comes equipped with UHD 750 integrated graphics. It is the top iGPU found in any Intel 11th gen desktop CPU. i9-11900K comes with the same UHD 750 graphics. It is powerful enough to play some games like Valorant and League of Legends set 1080p. However, you can forget about playing any AAA games, or anything heavier than Fortnite on low quality for that matter. I have a video testing UHD 750 in 23 games. Watch it next to learn more. CPU performance in games even in poorly optimized games, you can expect to see 60 plus FPS. In well optimized games, this number can go well above 100 FPS. For competitive gaming, i5-11500 is not too bad. 150 plus FPS in Fortnite, 200 plus FPS in Valorant, 250 plus FPS in Rainbow Six Siege. This CPU is ok for a 144Hz monitor. However, if you have a faster monitor, I would go for Ryzen 5 5600X instead. It is well worth paying extra for it to get that competitive edge. My final thoughts. In conclusion, i5-11500 is a strange CPU. If you want to play AAA games at 60 plus FPS, then you are better off buying a cheaper i5-11400. And if you want to push super high frame rates in competitive games, then you should be spending a bit more on Ryzen 5 5600X. I can recommend buying an i5-11500 only if you really need that integrated graphics. What do you think about this CPU? Don't forget to like the video and use the links in the description below to buy the PC parts I mentioned. It was I, Vadim, until next time.